Now in one breaking news, L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon has announced that a USC student will not face charges in a deadly stabbing on Greek Row. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. That student, 19-year-old Ivan Gallegos, claims he stabbed a suspected car burglar in self-defense. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang is live in downtown L.A. with the latest. Kimberly? Hi, we'll hear reaction in just a moment, but first, here's what District Attorney George Gascon had to say about the decision not to file charges. Take a look at this statement released just a short while ago. Quote, after careful consideration and a thorough review of all available evidence, we have decided not to pursue charges against USC student Ivan Gallegos. We believe that Mr. Gallegos' actions were driven by a genuine fear for his life and the lives of others. 19-year-old USC business student Ivan Gallegos was arrested after stabbing a man on USC's Greek Row Monday evening. Police say Gallegos and his two friends confronted a homeless man identified as 27-year-old Xavier Cerf, who they believed was breaking into cars. At some point, Gallegos pulled out a knife and stabbed him. Gallegos remained at the scene and told investigators it was self-defense, telling police that Cerf told him he had a gun. Gallegos was arrested on suspicion of murder and was being held on $2 million bail. But again, the DA has announced today that charges will not be filed. All along, friends and family supported Gallegos. Many waited in front of the courtroom for his arraignment today and called for justice, including his mother. That was before they found out the news and then headed over to the jail to pick him up. Now, we spoke with activist Naji Ali, who spoke on behalf of Gallegos' mother. He carried a knife for protection for his safety. USC, unfortunately, has a history in that area of students being robbed, assaulted, and murdered. So uh, Ivan was in fear of his own safety, and he had a right to be. When you understand Ivan's history, he has a history of community service and helping the needy, those less fortunate, and working to end violence in our communities. So we're grateful that Ivan is being released from custody. If the homeless man had a gun, because he did say he had a gun, he gestured, putting his hand in, in the pants, that he had a gun. What if he did? And we could have had three dead USC students on in the USC community, and that would have been very unfortunate and tragic. These are photos of Surf given to the LA Times by his mother. She told the Times that he had been struggling mentally in recent years, but called him a peaceful person. She said he was a father, a brother and son, and it didn't have to go that far. The district attorney also said in his statement, our heart goes out to the deceased family, friends and everyone impacted by this tragic incident. And back here live, supporters as well as family members have headed over to the jail. They tell us that Gallegos is going to be released at some some point today and they're going over to meet him reporting live in downtown Kimberly Chang KTLA 5 News